Hey guys, how's it going? Thad here with Iowa Budget RC. And today I've got the Kyosho USA one up here on the bench. Had this almost a year now. Got it as a uh, present from the RC Elf. And I absolutely love this truck, but it's had steering issues. And uh, part of it was Kyosho's bad design and part of it was because I crashed it and uh, so the these have a multiple link steering setup and uh, I'll you'll see it better after I take the body off and stuff but they just never work right and uh, they don't steer worth a crap and god this thing's huge um, and Maybe you can see, like, that's play in the steering right there. And that's horrible. And uh, kind of like the Clod Busters, they don't turn unless they're actually moving. And uh, so to cure this problem, I was going to grab that part for me back there, Grayson. Um, I'm here now. Grayson's here, too. Um, I was going to use this steering mount from a 1 8 Kyosho buggy and you cut the ear off here on this side and uh, mount it and then you have your servo mount here basically and that's supposed to work. I've never done it so there's only one video out there on YouTube of it um, but basically it uh, uses the stock piece this piece right here um and that uh you cut the ear off of that you cut the ear off of that mount and then basically screw the two together and that's your servo mount but i just found out about this a couple weeks ago uh fourth dimension racing which is here in iowa actually they're in cedar falls iowa they make this kit it's 3D printed and it mounts your servo and goes directly on the axle and actually adds strength to your axle. It comes with all the hardware and everything. And so uh, the only other thing that you need is the hot racing heavy duty steering saver, steering servo saver. And so now I've got those parts. Um, so what we're going to do today is basically take off all the old steering system, pop the, uh, the servo out of the stock mounting location. And I did replace the servo on this. There's a video on that, um, that I did, I don't know, six, seven months ago, where I put the, uh, 35 kilogram servo in there and it made the steering much better, um, and much quicker, more responsive, but, uh, this is really, really going to be a game changer for this because truck. It's so heavy. It is so heavy. It's like almost 30 pounds, I'd say. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'll bring you back and get the body off and the uh, front wheels off, and we will uh, show you what we're going to do here. Neat. All right, so for those of you who've never seen the uh, inside of the USA one, here's the big brushless motor. And the, uh, I believe this is a Hobby Wing Max 8, or I don't know if it's Hobby Wing anyway, but uh, it's the it's uh, 1 8 scale uh, brushless speed control. And then up here is your receiver and uh, electronics box. So you have to pop this cap, open up the little hood, and then your receiver and stuff is in there. So that's where everything is kind of hidden. Keeps, it's supposed to keep it waterproof. Whether or not it does, I don't know. But uh, let's show you now that I've got the body off here. Um, so here is the bell crank here. So it goes from the servo, which is right here, back to the quote unquote servo saver which is all the way back here and then up to this bell crank and then from that bell crank out to each wheel and then it's got the common tie rod there on the front 
And it's just super complicated. And it's... I, I wouldn't say it's overly complicated, but I mean, you can see that. That's because this uh, bell not... crank is uh, uh, messed up. It actually cracked and lost the bushing and uh, whatever. It's um, probably like that because you can also put rear steer on this. That's so part of the reason why it's like that. But Kyosho stuff. uses bell cranks on all of their stuff, Grayson. They do. Yes. Uh, and this is fine for a buggy, but not for a big heavy monster truck. So, I'm going to basically remove all the linkages, remove this, take the servo out, and uh, then we'll have to, I gotta pop the wheels off, of course. The end of the hub has to come off because the piece here, see how it's got those slots? That's actually gonna slide over the end and those slots go in here and lock it in. And so no more sketchy hose clamp, none of that stuff. Uh, this will all be buttoned up and nice and tight and use your stock steering rods. So I'm gonna start getting this thing apart and I will bring you back. All right, I've only had the wheels off of this thing once, so it's always a good thing to take them off every once in a while, inspect the hubs. You just realize that that bolt is, these bolts are a little bit loose, the kingpin bolts and uh, they are on the other side as well so i'll have to uh, tighten those up but i gotta take them off anyway because uh, i've got to be able to slide this piece on here so i'm actually going to have to take the uh, control arm mount off and because uh, this piece is going to slide in and go all the way in like that so um, i'm going to start by removing all the linkages and getting the servo out of there all right, so got all that garbage ripped out of there. As you can see, that's where the uh, servo saver would have mounted and uh, no more bell crank or mount for any of that. So I uh, still got to take the servo out, um, but the only two pieces of the uh, puzzle that we'll need are this link and the other one, and they will connect right to the hot racing servo saver. So this is gonna be such an improvement. Um, now I've got to take the arm, actually I've gotta take the C-hub off and take the uh, arm mount and slide it off the end and then uh, everything should uh, come off and be able to slide the new piece on and everything go together. All right, so uh, to get the C-hub and axle uh, mounts and all of that, the trailing arm mounts, I guess you'd call them, off of the axle, there's a screw here and there's one on the bottom side and you take those out and then the whole thing just slides off the end there and pulls your drive shaft out also and it's good to see that there's some grease on there and I will probably put just a little bit more on there before I put it back in uh, now let's see if I can find a flashlight here and I'll kind of show you if you can see inside of there there's your inner drive cup that's connected to your differential and so Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get the new part out and I will show you how that goes on. All right, so to put this on, you got your fourth dimension logo on there. You slide it on just like so. And that stays on there just like that. And then your servo will mount in here. They provide you with the hardware needed uh, that will go all the way through there and lock your servo in and lock that piece together so that will never move. It won't be like this piece here that was constantly moving up and down. I had to put the hose clamp next to it and I even at one point put some grip tape stuff inside of here to try and help and uh, that didn't help either. But uh, anyway, so now just the opposite and uh, like I say, I'm going to put some grease on the drive shaft there and just slide everything back together put the screw in and we're golden so i will bring you back 
and just like that it's back together still got to put the screws in but once you get it together you just want to turn it and make sure you got your uh, drive shaft engaged on both sides which I do and it's turning the uh, the hub on the other side so I know I'm good so I'll put those two screws in I'll get the shock back mounted up get the arms back mounted up and uh, we'll get the servo in there and uh, that should be about it besides getting the uh, steering arms hooked up all right so everything's in there and uh, all buttoned up got the screws in and that thing ain't going nowhere now uh, that's going to be a huge improvement and so the last thing I've got to do is get the servo saver put on here get the uh, serve or the uh, steering arms hooked up and uh, aside from that we're done all right guys and there it is we go full lock both ways it doesn't hit on the uh, suspension arms like I thought it would and I uh, just used some Tamiya uh, lock nuts on there with the uh, original Kyosho screws through the uh, hot racing servo saber there and this is a heck of a setup so while I got it off I'm just gonna go ahead and pr uh, do some routine maintenance oil the chain uh, stuff like that check screws that I haven't done but uh, yeah guys if you guys are interested it is that's the hot racing servo saver they come with a cool decal the fourth dimension RC comes with a cool decal and there's no part number on here but I will put that the link to this in the description as far as I know they are on back order as of right now they had to make some more I got one of the last four that they had and uh, but I highly recommend this if you have a USA one it's a easy kit to install and uh, it's gonna add so much more drivability to this thing I mean there's zero play in that steering now that is direct so I'm really looking forward to this but anyway guys thanks for watching have a great day don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and check out our merch store iowabudgetrcbashers.com <laughs>